So this week, we will talk about the new type of the database that is called a non-SQL database. And we will also introduce um, a very famous uh, non-SQL database, so that is called MongoDB. Uh, so if you remember that uh, in the previous uh, weeks, we mentioned that the database database um, can be relational, okay, and also can be uh, non-relational. So sometimes we also call it non-SQL, okay. And for relational database, uh, and also either non-relational database, we can load the data into our uh, data warehouse and the data can be analyzed by different BR analytic tools. Uh, we also have the data lake, okay? So data lake is the data container that can store the uh, structured, structured, uh, semi-structured, uh, and also unstructured, okay? So unstructured data, data type. Relational database only can store the structured, and non-relational database can be used to store the semi-structured. Okay, so those are different type of the data storage, data solution, data uh, container solutions that we uh, have talked so far. So why do we need non-SQL database? So we already have a rel relational database, we have data warehouse, and also we have the data link. So but what is the reason that we need re non-relational database? Okay, that is because right now the data become more and more um, diverse. So we have various data structures. So that create uh, challenges on the relational database. So uh, we cannot store like those so many different types of data into relational database. Especially that when you have huge amount of data that need to be digested and analyzed uh, in the near real time. So we know that relational database and you have to have a predefined structure. Okay, uh, so that will be um, either time inefficient or that will also sometimes can be uh, expensive. So that we, because we cannot perform those, uh, cannot accommodate those uh, different types of structures or we cannot accommodate those timely analysis. So that's why we have the non-SQL database, so non-relational database, because those data can be flexible, which means that you, you no longer need a predefined table structure. So you can change the stru structure of your data um, uh, anytime. So that means that, okay, so right now you have some data set, so that is uh, in this format, so you can store in your database. And later on, you have the data like in this format, and no problem. So you can also save that data into your non-relational database. Another reason is because of scalability and also the performance. So non-relational database can be scaled horizontally. However, the relational data database can only be scaled uh, vertically. So that uh, scalability will be yeah, another advantage of the non-relational database. And also non-relational database because it can scale uh, uh, vertically, so it can be globally distributed. So that is another advantage. Uh, so MongoDB uh, is claimed that they combine those advantages from relational database and also um, non-relational database. So MongoDB claimed that it, it supports the query, ex expressive query language, although that is not SQL. It also achieved um, very strong consistency, and also it has great um, enterprise management and integrations. And also more importantly, it is flexible, and also can be scaled uh, vertically, and also because of global distribution, so you can always have your backup. Okay, all you, your, your database is always in the cloud, so it's always on. Okay, uh, so let's compare the difference between relational and also non-relational. So for relational database, it has a very fast queries. So you can perform very fast queries with SQL on relational database because data is structured so that 
give you the advantage that uh, the query will be faster. For the non-relational database, because the data is not structured, so uh, to compensate that a flexibility of the data structure, so the query will be a little bit slower than the relational database. And the storage, so relational database use a traditional storage platform. Uh, Non-SQL use can use distributed. Um, and also is able to handle the larger data set. Uh, for relational, so uh, it can be used to handle high load. So that means if you have um, a lot of uh, transactions, insert, update, etc. So that's great for the relational database. Okay, uh, for non-relational database, so probably the fast transactions may not be as efficient as relational, but again, it's great. It has great flexibility and also can can save a huge size data. Relational database is ACID compliance. Okay, we mentioned that ACID earlier. Our non-relational database is not guaranteed. So ACID is not guaranteed for the non-relational database. For the relational database, it can only support vertical scaling. Most relational database can only support vertical scaling. So that means that, so for example, if you have an instance of the relational database, if you want add more storage length or add more CPUs, what you can do is that you can just only buy a more expensive or more powerful instance Okay, so that will cost a lot of money. Okay, so normally it is very expensive. Uh, for non-SQL, um, non-surplus database, so normally it is the data is distributed. Okay, so the data can be distributed across different instances. So those instances, um, those computers can be relatively inexpensive. So if you want to add more power or if you want to add more storage, you can just by cap keep adding more instances. So we will see the structure of the non-SQL later. So that kind of the advantage of the non-SQL. However, uh, one thing I want to point out that so those differences is kind of like the uh Typically, those are the differences or the features of the relational and also non-relational. However, nowadays we see that more and more relational database, they do support horizontal scaling. Okay, so more and more relational database, they do support horizontal scaling. Um, and also uh, they are able to store the different type of the data. And for more and more non-relational database, especially for like MongoDB, they claim that they do uh, follow the ACID standard, so they are ACID compliance. Okay, so what I want to say is that the difference between the relational and the non relational database is becoming smaller and smaller. So, so those differences, those new unique features may not be true, so in the near future. Okay, so types of the non relational database. So, um, we can have the key value stores. Okay, uh, so for example, the key value store is that we uh, we put data organized as a key value, key value. So for example, ID, and you have the value of the ID, and name, okay, and you have the uh, value of the name. So that is the key value store. So one famous example is called uh, DynamoDB. So if you remember last week, we mentioned about the different type of databases, so DynamoDB is a key value stores. And column stores, that means that instead of uh, storing data as rows, so we can also store the data by columns. So that will make the queries more efficient. Uh, so one example is Redshift. So Redshift is also a type that is using the column stores, so that aggregation will be more, will be faster. Uh, graph stores is used to store the like the relation relationships like network uh, structures etc. So that is graph store. Um, 
and AWS has a graph, graph stores and I forgot exact name of the service, but we do have those graph stores. And document stores. So document stores is what the MongoDB is using. So MongoDB is using the document stores. So those are different types of a non-relational database.